Last one. Really good, right? <coughs> this is what so it's apparently like. they have orange gravel and growing in the mountains here. Yeah. Because there in the other town we also heard about it. Yeah, and they identify it from pictures. Right? Everybody's like, yeah, we have this one. Right? So this is what it's like when we stop at the little villages in Saram. First there's one person. So there in the mountains there should be orange graviolans, honey. Crazy, right? Right? Hmm. This is a motorbike. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. We leave a mess. Teddy Makasi! Thank you! Thank you! Happy 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 happy. Big moment, our first Champadag sighting on Saram. We've been told there's Champadag, but only now. You can in there. Do we wish one is right? <laughs> Masak. Masak. Masak, Champadag, bagus. Semuanya udah masak, nanti di dalamnya aja yang. Makan sekarang? Makan. Ya? Bisa. Berapa dua biji? 25. 25? Oh, mahal. Iya. Yeah. Yeah, shy. <laughs> so shy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's take the little one for starters. Yeah. Berapa satu biji? Jadi kalau yang ini 15 ini 10. Ready? Mm. Mm. first champadak in months. <laughs> They have some as well. Oh my god, and papaya. And papaya. Yeah, this is a fruit paradise. Right? This is good. The best papaya I'll ever have. Yeah? Really. Whoa. It's beautiful, it's ripe. Whoa. I'm sticky from the champadak. Me too. Mm, look at that papaya. Papaya, papaya. Papaya. This one's good too. Yeah. There's a lot more fruit stands there. Oh my god. Is this a fruit paradise? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. It's such a beauty. It smells so hard, right? Okay. Two. Two. Three. Interesting territory, honey. <laughs> Thank you.
basically they're just crossing the river. Then they were right here. And then we enter the river. And then they swim upstream. And it was half falls. Uh oh. Here they are. Whoa. This is as far as we got to. In Saram, we were looking to get to Bemu, but this is what the road looks like yeah, from now on. I had just fallen from the bike twice, one on each side. All is good, but you know, pretty muddy. And the bike is now too slippery to ride on the mud road. And Chippy's, uh, Chippy's cleaning the bike. So this is what the road looks like that they're on. Not very promising. <laughs> this is how far we got in Saram. <laughs> Damn it! Didn't reach Bemu! Well, we reached the Durian hotspots though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's okay. Another beautiful morning here in Tahoro. Have I already shown you the view? I think it's their own Durian tree. Yeah? Wow, look at the view. Isn't it beautiful here? We we'll have a little homestay for dinner time. Mm. What such a view. Breathtaking. Chippy is starting the day off with coconut. And this is our breakfast because it seems to be a mangosteen town. Look at the mangosteens. So fresh, so good. <laughs> For vegans, there's a lot of sweet potato. This is a purple sweet potato. Huge bananas. Queenie! Oh, wow. 
Goodbye. Hello, that's my daughter. I'm going to go. Coconuts. But I know where my stash is. My set of coconuts, I mean. Oh, the rambutan season is coming in. Oh, this is our coconut stash. All right, we're gonna go for fresher ones. We have papaya, sweet potatoes. <laughs> this is cassava root. This is actually sago, which is um, very difficult to explain. But it's something made from a palm. <laughs> So one of the best things about this place is the coconuts, right? Yeah, we start our day with four huge coconuts. We usually just drink them. We don't need the meat. Tippy likes to fix his own. Can you tell me why is it that coconuts are so essential? They hydrate you on a cellular level in the morning. Your body is dehydrated because during the night you are detoxing, right? Because you're actually resting and your cellular fluids are used for detox to get shit out. Oh, I shouldn't say shit, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> to get all the, all the chemicals out and like, bad stuff out. This dude, okay, this okay. dude appears every time I try to take a picture of Chippy. Right. He's thought about me every picture and every video we're making. Okay, like, okay. So yeah, in the morning you drink your cocoa. Right? Huge. <laughs> I have a hard time finishing two of them. And blonde hair? No mango steam ladies? This is our favorite mango steam ladies. Mangish, mangish. This is not the one. Uh -huh. Lots of durian. Yeah, they're little and rich. Yeah, I think they're for the day. Champagne. Champagne. Masak di makam atau di goreng? Di goreng. Di goreng sama tepung. Uh, exciting times, everybody. Today is day one of our 7 a coconut water fast. We've just had um, an astonishing eight coconuts at the market. And um, I think, how many other ones we have here, Jubei? No idea. N no <laughs> idea, but basically what we do is we have them open like this, so the meat shows. So this way we can um, transport them easily in a bag and then we just carve out the meat with a with a small knife and we can drink them. Because we don't have a machete. We don't have a machete here. And we're not going to be here so long, so we, we're not going to buy one. So this is our coconuts that are going to last us for a few more hours, really. Right? Yeah, till tonight. Till tonight. So right now we're at eight coconuts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is 20 coconuts for the day for two people. Let's see how many we'll drink. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Ready? So, why are we doing this? Because uh, we're overeating on durian and mangosteen and like just pushing the fruits in a little too much, you know, because it's such high quality and they're so delicious here. 
But sometimes your body needs a rest and I felt that my body needed a rest, like the digestion wasn't that good anymore on the older durian and I felt like lazy and you know I didn't want to do that You much. actually stopped just, craving durian at some point. I also stopped craving durian and actually I couldn't eat any durian anymore. If I ate a durian, well mostly I ate like four in a row, but if I ate like two or three durians uh, after each other my head would get cloudy and I would not be sharp, I would not be like super present here. So it's time. Time for a reset. Time for cleaning out everything and resetting from eating too much. Okay, let's do this. Day one. Hello. Hello. What have we got here? Champadak. Yeah man, and this is in even the first Champadaks in Saram, right? Yeah. Whoa. Champadak season is coming. We're gonna do a coconut water fast, but then today we found a guy unloading Champadak on the street okay. as we walked by. Whoa! The typical Champadak in Saram, right? Yeah, man. Like, not a lot of flesh. Mm. That's so good. Not so good? That's so good. That's so good, right? Okay. Tempadak season is upon us and it's fun. So we've just added tempadak to our diet of monkeys, juku, and kalapa. Look at that. What is it, Juki? Lamansi juice. Mm. Although they call it here lemoncina. Lemoncina? And here's all the calamansi that we have this juice. Quite a lot of them, right? And Chippy pours it into cups of coconuts, which we have just noodled. Mmm, beautiful. Champadak season has nearly started in the Malukos. There are different stages of ripeness, different qualities. Here they are. We are at a beautiful river spawn. We have just found it right now. And wow, look at how clean the water is. You can actually see each and every pebble. The water is pretty warm. For a river, it never gets this warm anywhere in Europe. And here is the turn of the river. Beautiful palm trees in here. Chippy, Chippy's gone, of course, foraging during in the jungle, so he's somewhere in there. And I have this beautiful little cave uh, where I'm gonna bathe. Take a bookito, right? With this giant rock above me, with the tree roots. How magical is this place? Wow. This is where I'll be bathing. Okay. It's been a while when you have too much durian, coconut, and champadak, occasionally champajack and monkeys, you crave for your regular OJ, right? Yeah. This is what we're doing right now. We're juicing the jeruks, as they call them, the local citrus. Would you say they're oranges or tangerines? Orange, oranges. oranges. They're more like oranges than tangerines, mm. but they are a little more tangy than oranges. Amazing. Wow. Perfectly ripe, but uber fresh. You can see Ooh. they just cut off the tree this morning. Mm. Super easy to juice, man, compared to oranges. Right, so soft. So soft. Maybe that's what the original orange was like, right? Maybe that was the original design. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's a beauty, right? Our first Jumpadak! Jumpadak! Jumpa Jack, it's a beauty. Whoa. So beautiful. Look at the variety. Wow, we have a Champa Jack. We have three uber ripe pineapples. Can you see how orange pink they are? We have the most beautiful papaya you can imagine. Like, look at the size of it. And look at the color. So ripe. We have jeruks, which we're gonna juice for starters. We have lime, calamansi, also for juicing, and mangis. Whoa! So good. It's a beautiful day in our little pan. 
And Tippy Duck is starting with some juicing. Much needed juicing. 